virtual tolls for battery energy storage are on the rise in the NEM. But what actually is a virtual toll and how do they work? Let's start by outlining how a regular physical toll works. This is a contractual agreement where one party, the off-taker, pays a fixed fee to the owner of a battery or other generation asset to take over the operations and trading of the plant. The off-taker gets to keep all of the profit they make trading the battery, while the owner gets a nice steady flow of cash, giving them the return thereafter. This has been pretty common in the NEM, with nine big batteries operating today under this structure. But in 2024, we saw two big batteries begin operating under a virtual toll. Similar to a physical toll, in a virtual toll, the off-taker provides a fixed fee to the asset owner. However, it is an entirely financially settled agreement. The off-taker has no physical control of the asset or its trading. Instead, the off-taker can nominate charge and discharge positions for the battery. These positions are then settled financially between owner and off-taker, with the off-taker receiving the difference in value between charge and discharge nominations. The owner keeps all of the actual trading profit from the battery. Importantly, it is up to the owner to actually physically dispatch the battery to meet any nominated positions, but they can operate the battery in a different way if they prefer. For example, let's say an off-taker sends a nomination for a 100 megawatt two-hour battery to charge in the morning when prices are low and then to discharge in the evening when prices are higher. The owner can then just bid the battery to be dispatched to follow this nomination and bank the value of the contract. This action is shown in purple. However, an owner with higher risk appetite might think they could earn more. For instance, by bidding the battery into FCAS across the day instead. So in this example, it might dispatch only some of the battery to fulfill part of the trade nomination. The remainder of the battery then provides FCAS, shown in orange on the chart. If it earns more value from FCAS than it would have done through the trade, then the owner keeps this additional profit. So why do virtual tolls exist? Well, a key difference between a physical and virtual toll is that a virtual toll allows part of the system to be contracted. This may be preferred by off-takers as systems grow in size, but it also allows owners to stack multiple contracted revenues, for example, with the Victorian Big Battery, or to get merchant exposure from a project. Check out the explainer on the Modo Energy Terminal for more about virtual tolls and other off-take structures in the NEM. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.